Body dysmorphia is the negative obsession with how you look. It's really common, especially nowadays. We know of things like anorexia, BBLs, plastic surgeries, the Kardashians. It's very common and we speak about it a lot when it comes to women, you know, makeup and things like that, even wearing wigs. But we don't speak about it as much when it comes to men. Nowadays, men seem to be focused on packing on as much muscle as is possible and being as lean as is possible. And I think it can be quite good, you know, because men are focusing on getting stronger. However, I think it becomes negative when it becomes bigorexia or muscle dysmorphia. And it's very evident because when I dropped a video on gynecomastia, there was a lot of men who left comments about feeling negative about themselves because of having gyno. Now, of course, I do understand that it's not ideal to have gyno, but it shouldn't have this much of a negative impact on men's self-view. So I thought, you know what? Let me speak about body dysmorphia because I do think a lot of people focus far too much about how they look. I don't get it twisted. This is not going to be a video my telling you guys to feel happy being overweight or to stay the same this isn't fat positivity guys i'm not up for body shaming i think that's terrible but i'm also not up for telling people to stay unhealthy this is a video speaking to people who are only working out for looks so yet again even if you are fat and you're trying to lose weight for the sake of your health i know it's like ah i mean i also want to look better of course be more confident but let your health be the motivating factor now as i said body dysmorphia is the negative obsession with how you look and it's caused by the obsession with how you look you become negative whatever for whatever reason but it wouldn't be negative if you never had an obsession with it now there's different cases of course there's some people who struggle with severe acne they don't even want to walk outside things like that i'm not referring to that i do understand that's a that's a complete other situation i'm mainly speaking about men who you know deal with bigorexia things like that you know unhappy with their physique for the most part and i want to say it's, it's mainly caused by fixation on how you look and i know this because i I've experienced this on, on my YouTube. I'm five foot nine, right? And I can dunk. And I was able to dunk when I was even five foot eight. And I would post me being able to dunk at my height. And obviously majority of comments are positive, but there will still be some comments going, hey, you've got some small calves. And I'm thinking, you're seeing someone under six foot perform a pretty impressive feat and you can only focus on the aesthetics of his legs. There was tutorials. I remember seeing a tutorial once on TikTok of this girl saying how to take aesthetic pictures when going to this specific restaurant to eat. You're at a restaurant, eat the food, man. Why is it all about pictures for your social media? Unless you're a photographer on Instagram, you know, where this is your bread and butter, why do we care so much about capturing an image of the event rather than just living the event? Because we care way too much about how it looks. Big shoulders used to be a sign of strength so men would pursue strength with the byproduct of big shoulders nowadays men just want the big shoulders they don't even care about the strength focus is the, the, the big shoulders it's crazy strength used to be the goal muscle was a sign of strength now muscle is just the sole purpose that everyone trains the sole purpose is just to get bigger muscles right rather than getting stronger of course there is a natural level of awareness of looks we care about the clothes we wear so that we look presentable we line up so that we look presentable we eat food that looks appetizing that's all natural but this is simply an awareness of appearance the problem comes when you go from an awareness of appearance to an obsession with appearance now in training in with your body the, the problem is when you focus on bodybuilding believe it or not when you're fixated on simply building a bigger physique or bigger muscles or more of an aesthetic physique that's when the problem lies now of course i've spoken about stuff like that because i don't believe in gatekeeping information that i might have on helping you guys build aesthetic physiques but i do want to say that's a problem when you focus on solely training for looks that can lead to body dysmorphia so a solution is to not train for looks train for ability over appearance because the, the truth is you could always look better let's be real you get a girl who looks at herself she's like ah oh, i don't really like my nose so she gets a nose job then she looks at her lips like ah oh, my lips are kind of small so she gets lip filler then she looks at her her stomach she's like oh, i want to reduce it i want to get it a bit slimmer so she gets lipo then she's like oh, i look a bit rectangular i want an hourglass figure so she gets a bbl and gets the rest of the fat from her love handles and puts it in her back right the hamstrings might not match but that doesn't matter to her right then she's like oh you know what my chest looks kind of small let me get breast implants so she gets breast implants and and what happens is she ends up looking at her body like like it's a file on the computer right where she can just edit and and you know what happens at this point she will still go on and edit her pictures on ig she'll still photoshop her pictures she'll still use filters when she takes pictures she'll still wear makeup before she leaves the house she still might wear a corset she'll still wear a lace front for some people the point is you could always look better otherwise they would stop at one thing or at two things or at three but they never stop so focus on ability over appearance i encourage you guys to train with the goal of perhaps getting stronger with the goal of maybe getting a better bench press maybe learning combat maybe learning jiu-jitsu 
you. Maybe sprinting, maybe playing a sport, play football, play basketball, something. Don't just train because you wanna look bigger. Because the truth is, building muscle takes time. If you have good genes, like I'm talking like optimal genes, not, set, not, not good or bad, right? Like it's obviously, it's all subjective. Optimal genes for building muscle. You won't look like Hulk in one year. It will take your time, it might take three years, right? Make, might take even more. The average person is not gonna look like they even lift after one year. I'm gonna be completely honest. They're not gonna look like that. The average person won't even look like they lift much after two years. After three years, they might start seeing progress and they might be the same as someone with some pretty good genetics, some optimal but muscle building genetics in one year. Yet again, if you have subpar genetics when it comes to building muscle, you may never look like you even lift. So if you're focusing on looks, you're gonna be discontent because we all have different genetics in respect to building muscle. Some of us can focus on looks. I'm gonna be real. Some of us can think, all right, cool. Let me bodybuild. Let me look a type of way. But not all of us can. And if you don't have a healthy perspective, do you know how hard it is to stay off the juice? Imagine having average genetics. You live for a while and you get a decent physique, right? And then bam, genetic limit. You may never even look as buff as I did as a 15 year old kid. Do you know how hard it will be to be content if you're solely focusing on how you look? It will be, it would legitimately be tempting to hop on drugs and you still may not get far. Picture how unhappy you will be. Close your eyes. Do it now with me. Imagine your dream physique. The physique you wish you had. Probably better than the one you have right now. Open your eyes. You're not getting it. Now picture the same person aiming to bench their body weight, aiming to squat 1.5 times their body weight, aiming to deadlift their body weight, aiming to be able to do weighted chin ups and pull ups, aiming to be able to rep out muscle ups. Picture how much more content you'll be. You may never look like Mike O'Hearn, but you will have accomplished a lot. You will have become strong for your weight and you will have learned new skills. So rather than focus on looks, focus on ability because all of us can get better at the handstand. All of us can get a stronger bench press. All of us can deadlift. All of us can squat and, and improve our reps or improve our numbers. If you're able to run a mile, run a mile. See how fast you can run that. See how fast you can run 100 meters. Try to get at least a sub 12, 100 meter. Make that one of your goals. If you're over six foot, why can't you dunk? Why are you focusing on how big your legs are? See if you can dunk. Try to jump a little bit. And even if you're under six foot, see if you can push it see if you'll be able to dunk as well see train for ability go to the gym one of my friends he told me you know one of his goals and it's you know to be very very strong very durable he wants to be able to deadlift a decent amount relative to his body weight same with his squat and his bench and that's a good goal that's a genuinely good goal because we all do not have the same genes, but you can all track where you came from. But when it comes to look, it's simply just overall. No one cares about where they came from when it comes to look. They care about looking better than the next guy or looking good enough to get people's validation. When it comes to ability, you know where you came from. It also takes way less time to see improvements in strength than it takes to see improvements in muscle size, right? Even if you don't have the genes of Hercules, you'll still see strength gains faster than you see muscle gains. And skill was even faster than that. So try doing a handstand, man. Try learning the planche or something, right? Because skill is, okay, see, uh, planche is going to be tough. When you're focusing on training for looks, one thing that you're doing is you're looking for external validation. You might say, no, 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 I train for looks for myself. But the truth is, no, you don't. If you get someone who bodybuilds and is focusing on looks and he gets a bunch of comments telling him you're a bit too puffy, you need to get leaner. Or you're a bit too skinny, you need to put on more size. You'll probably be unhappy. Or if, you know, people see him in person say, oh, it looks smaller than I thought you'd be. He'd probably be unhappy. But if you get some guy who's training calisthenics and is amazing at maybe freestyle calisthenics or whatever, and you see this guy, he's got so much skill, but he doesn't look as big as other people would think is aesthetically appealing and he gets hate comments sometimes or people not hate comments but some people saying oh you know i thought you'd be a bit bigger or you're quite skinny along with obviously the positive comments and if people in real life seem to look a lot smaller in person that person would not actually be that affected because they're not focusing on appearance mainly they're focusing on ability for example if you're eating food you enjoy People can tell you how trashy that food is, how disgusting they think that food is. You're still going to eat it because you're eating it for yourself. You know how many times I tell people that chips with vinegar is disgusting? British people still eat that up because they're doing it for themselves. However, if you've got an outfit on and someone tells you that looks like trashy, you're probably going to be in a bad mood the whole rest of the day. You're probably going to feel like, oh man, let me change my outfit. People don't like it because you're not doing it for you. You might be telling yourself you're wearing it for you. You're not. It's like women saying, I'm wearing makeup for me. I'm wearing makeup for me. During COVID lockdown, they did not wear any makeup whatsoever. When you focus on training for looks when you focus on getting bigger and all this stuff you are somewhat looking for people's validation you are somewhat looking for people to say hey bro <laughs> kind of big you are still looking for people's validation stop that because external validation will never lead to internal happiness bruce lee yo if bruce lee was living in today's day and age he'd be getting shat on right uh, he'd be getting pooped on because he was five foot seven 
he'd be getting mocked because he weighs like a hundred and i don't know how much he weighed but he did not weigh a lot at all but you know how amazing that guy is that's bruce lee he's been dead for years and he's still a legend he's still a legend i look up to him so many people look up to him he's he's amazing it's bruce lee and he's idolized for his ability not his appearance another reason you shouldn't train for looks because of the seeking of external validation is because you will always have haters people are always going to hate on your physique you can do great things someone is going to mock you for maybe being too slender maybe being too puffy maybe being too lean maybe being too small maybe being too big you have to have the mindset that i don't lift weights for you i do it for me because insecure people will always project their insecurities onto you that's all i'm saying so focus on ability over appearance focus on function over form Athletics over aesthetics.